Hello, I'm Courtney. What's up? And it's day three of the Booktube-a-thon. So today has been a productive day, filming-wise. Like, I filmed a book review, I filmed my super duper long video challenge for today. That's great. But reading-wise, it's been terrible. I did read today. Like, that's all that matters. I have read today, but not a lot. I started this Raging Lights Light by Estelle, Estelle Lordy. I still don't know how to say this author's name, but I read the first 20 pages and I like it, but I just like had to point it down after I finished the first chapter because I was just like, this is just really sad. But I am going to read more tonight because especially during book two is on, I like to read before I go to bed and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read some more of this. Hopefully I get to page 100. But the video challenge for today was to recreate a scene from any book and it could be a parody or it could just be straightforward and be line for line from the book and my video challenge is a mixture of both it's half parody and half straight from the book and I had so much fun filming this video I recreated a scene from Queen of Shadows the fourth book in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Moss and it's near the end before the big battle you know and Elaine and Cowell are having a conversation and that's all I'm gonna say so I hope you all enjoy the video and I'm sorry it's super duper long but I just had a lot to do for this challenge so I hope you all enjoy it and roll clip hey Cowell can we talk oh hey Selene Elaine Elaine not Selene it's no longer Selena why couldn't have you said Elaine first when I met you instead of doing this name switch. I'm sorry, I just like to be extra and confuse people. But I did not come here to be sassy. I came here to ask you this. Are you ready for tomorrow? I'm as ready as I can be. Cowell, I need to reassure you that I am not going to endanger anyone's lives tomorrow unless it's necessary. I know you wouldn't endanger anyone's lives just for the fun of it. Unless it's Manon. If you see that witch, please kill her for me. But I trust you, Selene. Elaine. Elaine. It's not Selena anymore. It's Elaine. I'm so sorry. Really? You? Trust me? Even after I gave you that scar on your face and tried to kill you? Yes, Elaine. I do trust you for real. Hey, I said Elaine this time. Score! I'm glad to hear that, even after everything. You still trust me. And I still trust you, too. So much that I don't feel afraid to ask you this question. And you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but... Do you regret sacrificing your freedom to get me to Wendelin? No. I don't regret my decision. Well, now thinking about it, I kind of do because you found Rowan, that hot bay male, and I may not be salty about that because, you know, uh, I really had hope and faith in our relationship. Cowell, I will only say this one more time. We were never going to work. I realize that now, Elaine. Seriously, I do. I just wish things could have ended better. They ended on bad terms and if they had it I think we could have a better friendship even though a lot of people still want us to be together I know right like how have they not realized that I have moved on to something so much better now I'm sorry I shouldn't have said that but my point is that I don't regret sending you there because I think that's what they wanted me to do Send you to Wendelin so you could figure out who you are and learn your abilities and meet Rowan. I'm glad you sent me there because you're exactly right. I need to learn all that stuff and meet Rowan because I don't think I've felt this happy in years. You deserve to be happy, Elaine. And you deserve to be happy too, Cowell. <laughs> Wait, Nestor. <it. coughs> oh my gosh, Elaine! Can you be any louder? She's right back there. Besides, do you see the desk glare she's giving me right now? 
It's not gonna happen, okay? Nothing's happened anyway, and nothing ever is. That desk glare she's giving you right now is the same exact look I gave you when we first met, so I'm pretty sure that means she has feelings for you. I mean, I gave you a desk glare, then we fell in love, she's giving you a desk glare, and you're definitely gonna fall in love because I ship you two so hard. Maybe something will happen. Who knows? I might be dead tomorrow. No one is going to die tomorrow unless I have to do what I think I might have to do to Dorian. And if it comes to that, I promise I'll make it quick and painless. Wait a minute. Are you promising me that you might kill my boyfriend tomorrow? Did you just say boyfriend? I did not just call Dorian my boyfriend. I did not just call Dorian my boyfriend. Oh! Nesrin, what was that? Oh, I think she needs me over there. Yeah, I'm gonna go. But now, my friends, is my reading update and video challenge for day three of the book Tubathon. I'm sorry that I didn't have a lot to say for today. I promise that I'm gonna have a better reading update for tomorrow. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow for day four of the book Tubathon. So, bye! Yo! Oh.